Hello, Dr. Nambi coming to you live from Bella Bella and this week we're just going to speak about the topic betting on yourself and thank you to all the recent subscribers that we have on my youtube channel thank you for following my journey thank you for the comments thank you for the positive feedback and before we proceed please continue you know to subscribe on my youtube channel if you haven't already done so and please share my videos please give me feedback on topics that you also want me to cover so this week I just decided let's do the topic betting on yourself um, if you remember recently I did a topic on burnout the reason I did burnout is because you know we close to the end of the year with all that has been going around there has been a lot of things you know financially you know the COVID came we had you know mental issues we had a lot of things that we had to deal with on a day-to-day -day base hence in so many ways we have all been so affected and that's why i say we needed to just take time off so that we can deal with burnout we needed to take time off so that we can prepare ourselves because as you will know we are almost at the end of 2020 and as we are almost at the end of 2020 i don't want you to give up i don't want you to say you know what i'm not going to make it this year is not my year i want you to reverse that mentality i want you to still claim this year as your best year ever if you are going to claim this year and say it's your best year ever, there has to be something that has to be ignited within you. If you have given up, we still need to come in and encourage you and say, you know what, it's not over until it's over. As long as you still have breath, as long as you still are alive, you still have it in you to fight for that dream. You still have it in you to fight for that goal. You still have it in you to make 2020 the best year of your life. So that's why we are going into the topic of betting on yourself. Because as much as we want to wait for the world to give us, you know, that go ahead, to give us that feel good, you know, um, uh, message, I still want you to say, you know what, no one can do it for you except you. So don't wait for the world, you know, to give you that energy that you need so that you can start that project. Don't wait for 2021 before you work on that goal, before you work on that business. Start now. It's not over until you are buried down on the, you know, on the grave. If you are not yet buried, you can still have that courage to move on. You still have that courage power to manifest your dreams and your goals so that they become alive so hence we're talking about betting on yourself right let's get into the topic betting on yourself betting on yourself so i'm just gonna discuss five points number one point on betting on yourself is number one is be your number one supporter I hate to break this to you, but if you don't support you and you're waiting for the world to be your number one support, I'm, I'm sorry to break it to you. You have to be the first one to support yourself. You have to be the number one fan of whatever that you are doing. Be it your hairstyles, be it, you know, your motivational, you know, uh, speaking, be it, you know, that business, be it, you know, that brand. I do from ghetto to Dr. Prinia brands, t-shirts and all that. I have to be my number one supporter. Whether you like what I'm doing, whether you don't like what I'm doing, I still go ahead and I say, number one fan. I still go ahead and say, I'm going to wear this brand with my pride. I'm going to wear my hairstyle with my pride because this is what my salon is able to create. So be your number one fan. If you cannot be your number one fan, don't expect other people are going to buy into what you are selling. So you need to go in and be your number one fan. Number two fan. Number two point. 
is to actually believe in you. How do you expect the world to believe in you? How do you expect to sell us that dream, to sell us that business, to sell us those t-shirts, to sell us if you yourself, you do not believe in that dream? So it's very important. You need to believe in that dream. You need to believe in yourself. As much as you want the world to support what you are doing, it starts by you being the first one to believe in yourself. It starts by you saying, no matter what I'm getting out there, no matter the energy, no matter how many people are liking what I'm doing, no matter how many people are disliking what I'm doing, I'm still going to go ahead and believe in this dream. I'm still going to go ahead and believe that this thing will work out. I'm still going to go ahead and believe that this message can change other people that are out there. So you need to believe in your dream. Number three point of betting on yourself is to invest in you. When I started my medical practice, I didn't have money. I just finished my internship. I just finished my community service. I didn't, I didn't have any government payout. So I went out with actually nothing. And my motivation was if I wait until, you know, I'm given that salary in my mind, I will think this money I'm getting is quite a lot of money that I will not realize what my dream is. And I told myself, with nothing, I'm just going to go ahead. And I went in. And I went in and I knocked on every door. For the first time, I was told I needed a business plan. And guess what? I took that business plan and I said, that's my business plan. Mm. And then when I gave in my business plan, I was told my business needed to exist at least one year before they will invest in my business. But I still say, I'm not going to let anything stop me. If it means I go all out with nothing, let me go all out and then I can try again. And that's what I did. I went all out and I tried and I succeeded one year passed by and then I went again and I tried to get some funding. I tried to get, you know, some, you know, financial help for my business. And guess what? After one year, I got it. So if I didn't believe in my dreams, if I didn't believe in myself, if I didn't become my number one fan, if I didn't invest in me and say, no matter what I have, I'm going to use the resources that are at my disposal now and go all out and do this business so that it can, you know, one day manifest so that one day it can give me that which I want. From the business so that one day it can be a family legacy my children's legacy so I had to start somewhere so as you are standing now I hate to break it to you people are waiting for people to come and invest in their businesses people are waiting before they can even start and you know execute their plans they are waiting for someone to come and save them i'm sorry to break it to you the government is not coming to save you the bank is not coming to save you you are your you yourself are the one who's supposed to save yourself no matter how hard it is, no matter how you know bad it looks, you must be the number one investor in your business. The moment you invest in what you are doing, people will see and you know they'll be like, you know what? We like, we like and we love what this person is doing. And what will they be doing? Now they'll come investing, putting money. This one will come with a suggestion. I want to partner with you. This one will come and say, no, let's do like this, like this. Let's also include my brand in what you are doing. Why are they putting their brands in what you are doing? It's because you started the first step of investing in that dream, investing in that business, investing in yourself so that the rest of the world can see what you are made of. 
So I hope you do understand. It's not, you know, something personally that I'm saying that, you know, is to, to discourage you. But I'm trying to just get you off your feet so that you can realize that you don't have to wait for anybody, you know, to come and save you. You can save yourself. You can start just where you are with what you have. The small that you have, you can be able to scale up and build that business to become a multi-billion billionaire type of business. But start. Because if you don't start, how will people even be able to buy in that thing? We're waiting and saying, you know what, before I do this and this, I need to have one, two, three. My dear, some of the things you'll never get them right when you're starting whatever that you're starting. So that's why it's very important. Just start. The rest will catch up with you later. Number four point on betting on yourself is to give yourself the first like. Give yourself the first like. Often when I put, you know, my, you know, my daily post or my motivational or inspirational post, I always am the first one that clicks on those posts that I put because I say, I'm not going to wait for someone to give me that first like. Whether you like it or not, I'm going to like myself first. I like myself first and then I share myself first because I'm like the world need to see what I am all about so I need to first like myself when I go out I need to like me I need to like what I'm doing I need to like you know the impact that I'm doing that it motivates me to say you know what I'm still gonna get up I want to get up I want to make a difference in my community I want to make a difference you know in the you know in the youth that are, that is out there I want to make a difference in my family I want to make a difference in my country it starts by me liking what I'm doing if I didn't like what I'm doing I will be you know like you know um, what is this one I will be rejecting opportunities that I'm given because I'm not being paid for for what I'm doing I'm doing things out of the goodness of my heart but it's because I like me I like what I'm doing I like the impact that I'm putting I like just to see someone smiling I love to see the you know the the, the the, the happiness that I get to see when you know people are happy with what I'm delivering that's just what drives me and I'm like I'm gonna do it again I'm gonna do it again I like to see people happy and that started by me just liking me and not waiting for the world to like me yes we're not saying you know um, what is this one the world mustn't like you but be the first one to like you like what you do like your brand, like your hairstyle, like your skin color, like everything about you so that people will start to say, you know what, we want to bet on this person because we just, you know, like the energy of this person. It started by you liking yourself. Number five on betting on yourself is to give the world a reason to remember who you are. So you have to be unique, no matter what, how, no matter what, no matter how. You can never be a doctor, Nambi. I can never be, you know, one of these motivational speakers that I look up to. And I'm just unique in my own way. So because I'm unique in my own way, I have to give you what I have. With what I have, I have to use that to make the world remember that the once lived a young girl who came from a poverty background, who defined, who went against all odds to make a name for herself, to make a name for her family, to make an, a name for her own community. It, has to, it had to start with me. If I didn't believe in myself, if I didn't, you know, uh, invest in myself, if I didn't, you know, um, uh, give myself that number one supporter position, how will I expect to be, you know, giving the world a reason to remember me? They will remember you for who you are. They will remember you for the actions, the things that, the impact that you are putting in your community. Hence, I do what I do because I know I don't want to just die and be buried and be down in, in the ground, you know, with all the dreams that I was supposed to execute all wasted away. 
So while I still have the time, I'm going to make that impact. I'm going to speak. I'm going to make, you know, I'm going to motivate. I'm going to encourage as many as are out today. I'm going to give the world the message that I came to give. My unique message that I came to give. And say, you know what, it's not over until you are down there underground. If you still have a breath, there's a reason that God is still keeping you. And don't waste that, bre that breath. So go all out, bet on yourself, make the world remember that you know you are a blessing in this world. Make the world remember that you are just unique. Make the world remember there will not be none, there will never be no one like you. You are just unique. You make an impact. You change lives. The way you believe, the way you laugh, the way you smile, the way you give yourself to the world, the world will never be the same with you not being there. So they have to remember you. They have to remember the impact that you have made. They have to remember the changes that you made in your society. I hope you have been blessed. I hope you have been inspired. Please continue to follow my journey. Please continue to subscribe on my YouTube channel. Follow me also on my Instagram and I'll continue to encourage you. I will continue to share my wisdom on personal things that I've experienced that will help you also to grow as a human being, as a business person, and as you know, a sister, a mother, as whoever you want to define yourself to be. Thank you so much, Dr. Nambi, signing out with your weekly motivation of betting on yourself. Goodbye. Thank you. Enjoy your week.